Something we often talk about when we're looking at long range forecasts is the range of uncertainty. So one of the questions we have is, how does a long range forecast work? Well, first off, you have to remember there is that initial data that comes in. That can come from observation sites, satellite, radar, anything like that. But if the guidance is slightly different as far as those computer models are concerned, or the data is slightly different, it can change up the long range forecast. Now, remember each one of the computer models have different variabilities in them. For example, the Canadian model is good with snow, while the GFS is good with mid-latitudes, Europeans typically better with tropical systems. So you get that initializing data, it gets plugged into our supercomputer, and as you start to go through the long range forecast, sometimes those variables can slightly differ, or the world changes it slightly differently as well. And the further out you go, one small deviation makes a big difference. This is why I like using things like ensemble models. For example, this is called the SpaghettiOs and really kind of shows you over the long range forecast, each one of those circles are indicating something different within the model itself and the overall variables that could change things up. So that's what we're talking about when we're talking about the long range forecast, those variabilities and how the supercomputer handles them as well as that initialization data. And one thing going back to how models are not the end all with forecasts. Of course, they're getting better and better every year, but they still have their problems and they are still biased in certain ways. But is that long range forecast? And why is it uncertain? That's what we mean. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta.